Hey, what's up? It's Taku here. Welcome back to my weekly blog. So yesterday I uh, published the uh, uh, build 20 of the mobile version 5 uh, of Inkjob. So I'd like to talk about uh, what's new in build 20. And here is a note. note. And uh, the biggest one of the new features is uh, workspace view. It's uh, uh, a feature for the sidebar, and it helps you focus on a specific uh, notebook. Uh, because uh, by default, uh, it shows you uh, uh, everything, uh, like uh, every notebook, and every status, and every tag on the sidebar. So it will be hard to understand which entity belongs to which notebook. Uh, when you have a lot of uh, nodes and notebooks uh, in your database. So Workspace View would help you understand uh, your project. So let's, uh, let me give you a demo. Okay. So you've got a test account here. You have a not lot of nodes here. And uh, here is a default uh, view of the sidebar. So let's call it a home workspace, where you have uh, everything. You have everything on the sidebar here. So you have a lot of tags and statuses and notebooks. So this uh, notebook, there is a notebook called Project. Uh, it has uh, it has some sub notebooks here, and uh, so you drag. You may want to focus on this project, and you don't want to see uh, every. You don't want to see any notes and notebooks and tags uh, not related to this project. So. This version, uh, Build 20, got a button on the right side of the sidebar here. As you can see, it has a small button to disclose this notebook, these notebooks. So let's press it. And uh, then the sidebar changes the view, and uh, it now shows uh, notes and uh, it shows only notebooks and status tags about the project. Can you see here? So it greatly helps you focus on a certain project. So it only lists tags that are used in this project. And when you tap all nodes, it shows all the nodes in this notebook, including the sub notebooks. It's not it's sub notebooks. So it's just like uh, this all notes menu, but uh, specifically for the notebook, the project, the uh, uh, the the workspace. Right, it's it's so great, and uh, you can also recursively look into a notebook by pressing the disclosure button on the right side of the sidebar here. So it's like a, a ex file explorer, and you you op like you open and folder in the side uh, in the file system and if you want to go up uh, you can just swipe right to go back so it's very handy and you can also tap the passbar on the top of the at the top of the sidebar here so you can you can know quickly know where you are in so that 
So in this case, you are in uh, project meetings and completed. And uh, if you want to uh, if you want to go back to the project, you can simply tap the project. It's very handy. So you don't have to swipe uh, multiple times, but you can simply tap the project. And uh, if you want to go back to the home workspace, you can tap the leftmost button. That's so useful. I love it. That's workspace view. <clears throat> OK. And the next up is uh, share notes on the web. It's already av available on the desktop app, uh, but it's finally available on the version 5 of the mobile app. It's, uh, it's a simple feature for sharing your notes on the web. So let's so let's check it out. So let's say you have a this you have a this note. So let's say you have a note here, and uh, you want to share this note on the web. Press the information button here. Information button. Can you see? Can you see? So press the information button here. And um, you've got a share on web menu here. So let's press it. And press uh, create a link button. Oops. Hmm. Yeah. So you've got a link to share with your friends. So let's, let's tap it. So you can, so you can check, you can see your notes on the web browser. So this feature is quite useful when you work with uh, your team member, your team members. That's it. That's that's it. Okay. Uh, the next one is my favorite one, which is for uh, the tag list on the sidebar. Uh, let me show you. So as you can see, uh, there are uh, many tags, but it, they're, they are ordered by their name by default. But now you can change the order of the tag list to note count. Uh, you can see uh, there is a button on the tags section header here. Uh, let's press it. And here you got a note count option here. So let's press it. And now you've got uh, tags ordered by note count. So you can understand which tags are frequently used or not. Uh, that's use very useful for organizing your tags. I love it. So very useful. Mm. So it also works. Uh, it also works in workspace view. So like so. So you, if you are in the project view, uh, the the tags in the project also ordered by note count. That's great. And the last one is a UI theme called Node. So I've been using this theme throughout this quick demo. So it's a, a bluish uh, color theme, uh, soft and uh, soft and cold, cold looking. Uh, this one. So, so you can change the theme from the settings here. Uh, you can change. You can tap the UI theme here, and you can choose node theme. Uh, there are also uh, other other node, other themes like uh, light theme. It's a default one, and dark dark theme, 
and node. So it, there, there is a solarized dark, but it's not uh, finished yet. So it's, <laughs> it's like, uh, weird looking yet. But uh, I've worked on this uh, node, th node theme this week. So I'm so happy to announce it. <laughs> and uh, also, there, it supports a uh, syntax theme, syntax theme. So it's very beautiful, right? So please check it out. Cool. Okay, and uh, you've got uh, other bunch of improvements, like uh, uh, it supports sync with uh, custom CouchDB database. So you, if you have a CouchDB on your server, uh, you can sync with it in this build. So it, so it also now supports emptying trash uh, by pressing the trash button, long pressing the trash button, like this. And it so currently uh, there is no 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 notes in the trash. But if it got uh, if it has uh, uh, notes, uh, it indicates it has uh, notes in the trash with icon. And there are some bug fix and uh, improvements uh, reported on the dis discourse uh, user forum. This one is a uh, swipe gesture, about a swipe gesture. So Dykesam uh, requested this feature uh, some weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. And I decided to look into the implementation of this behavior. So now you can go back to the note list by uh, swipe right, uh, but it was also available in the earlier version, but uh, it has to be start with the leftmost edge of the screen. But now you also, you can also start with the, in the middle of the screen, just like here. So it'll be um, useful for uh, right-handed people because you don't have to reach to the left edge with your finger. Uh, I'm, I'm a left-handed person, so I, I, don't, I didn't care much about it, but uh, it'll, be, well, it'll be quite useful for uh, many people. Okay, and the next one is a, <coughs> a bug fix. So it didn't work uh, copying Copying a uh, URL from Safari. Yeah, and it's being fixed now. Mm. Okay. Uh, and here is the current development status. So it's uh, mostly finished. It's like 90% uh, uh, completed. So I, can, I can't wait to officially release it in the near future. Uh, that's it. Thank you for thank you for watching and thank you for your support as always and uh, see you in the next one. Have a productive day.